All right, guys. I've been working on the PIP 2424, and I got it all back together. And I'm going to be testing this thing out tomorrow. What I'm going to do is when I get home from work tomorrow, I'm going to get the um, cover put back on, get the front gauge hooked back up, put the cover on, get it all screwed down. I'm going to bring some uh, two deep cycle batteries in here. And we're going to hook up the D cycle batteries to the inverter. I'm going to get a, a wall plug and a little sharp wire to tie in to here so we can um, get some AC power out of this thing. And we're going to power it up and we're going to see if this thing works. Hopefully, I did everything right, everything will run like new money. And I have my PIP 2424 back up and running again. So keep an eye out tomorrow. If I don't get it uploaded tomorrow, I'll get it uploaded uh, Friday. And uh, yeah, we'll see what this thing do, see if I did a good job on it. Another thing that I wanted to talk to y'all before I shut it down and go to bed is... I had a couple of questions that people asked me on the um, 24 volt battery bank. They asked me why did I not do four batteries in parallel instead of doing three. For one, on these PIP inverters, they will not handle four. If you put four batteries in in um, series fully charged that would be 33 volts these are only handle up to 29 volts the other guy's inverter that I was helping set up his battery bank his inverter only went to 29 volts now he could have ran the batteries like it 80% full it would have worked but the Nissan Leaf modules makes its uh, all the power is, is between 4.1 and 3.6 volts per module so um, 4.1 and 4.1 is 8.2 so you're talking about on a whole module, it'll be 8.2 volts and down to 3.6. So 3.6, that's uh, 3 and 3 is 6, 6 is 12. You're talking about 7.2 volts will be the bottom. After that, you really don't get that much more power out of the battery so it's kind of like a waste to go down below that so the best thing to do is to get it in three in series and that would give you 25 volts fully charged and he will be able to take it down to 20 volts and that would the cut off when the inverter cut off it will be more than enough power left in there to where if he got a sale out of balance and he um, had it set up in four in, in, in series, fully charged would be 33 volts. Um, fully discharged will be uh, 20 volts. And that's exactly where his inverter turns off is at 20 volts. So if he had a cell that was out of balance, before the inverter would turn off, he would go past that 5 volts and he'd have a chance of damaging a cell. But if you, if you shut it off at somewhere like, um, this would be 20 volts. Um, 15 will be the bare minimum you want to take the battery down so he will have five volts 
because it was shut off at 20 and he could take it down to 15. So he would have five votes to play with. So that would keep him from getting down into that five vote range to where it could hurt the battery. But guys, it's like two o'clock in the morning and I'm getting ready to shut it down so I can go on and go to bed, get up for work in the morning. I'll upload this and uh, tomorrow when I get off from work, we're going to try to get this bad boy fired up and see how it works. All right, I'll see y'all then. Have a good night.